Hello lovely people, welcome back to Ravi's Focus Hive. So last time we spoke about top 5 hacks of making to-do list. Today let's look at a cool app which is going to make it super easy for you. A few of my friends also asked me about any utility that they could use. And one of my friend also told me about an app that he uses which makes his life easy is Google Keep. So that kind of intrigued me because I have been always using OneNote, Microsoft's OneNote. And then there was uh, Evernote, which I have not used at all. I've installed it. Uh, God knows when the time would come when I will figure it out. Since this friend of mine told me about Google Keep, I thought of looking at it, uh, venturing this app. And uh, my first impression of Google Keep is pretty cool. I mean, I love that app. The options and the look and feel, first of all, is super clean. Uh, it's easy to use and it's easy to understand as well. If I compare the learning curve with OneNote and Google Keep, is way different because for, I, I took some time to figure out one note and uh, with Google Keep it was like super user friendly I mean you go you see all the buttons all the options right on your face you just gotta use it and it has got some real cool features so instead of taking more time of yours I am gonna show it to you all right lovely people let's look at one note the different structure to it and other options and then we'll go into Google Keep and dive more details of all the options of Google Keep. So let me just launch so the OneNote. All right, so this is my notebook, right? This is my notebook. And then in my notebook, I have different sections, right? So I have sections for quick notes, Toastmaster, uh, stocks, articles, KRAs, Catalyst Partner, mentoring. And then in each section, I have various pages. So if I look at articles, uh, so these are the various pages that I've created. And then each page, I can start come in here and start writing. And I can use add images, uh, write text, draw items. So if I got to draw something, I can come in here and just draw it so pretty cool uh, in itself and I've been using it for quite some time and I love it uh, for the mere fact that it is pretty organized it looks very organized the old school way I mean it just resembles the same notebook that you hold in your hand right so it's it gives the same feeling uh, one other one other great feature is that when you go to insert you can start adding pictures and screenshots and all, all kind of stuff. But at the same time, you can add recording over here. So when you click, click there, and then I click on audio recording, and it starts recording over there. Uh, so it, you can come in and see over here that it says recording and at the volume level, and you can stop it from here. So I'll just click on it and it stops. So you want to see how it plays out. All right, so that's how it plays out. So it's pretty uh, cool feature. I've not kind of used voice notes a lot on this because ideally I'll not be doing a voice note on my computer. Uh, voice note would be easier for me to do it while I'm on my phone and traveling. And uh, that's where Google Keep kind of steals the show because on Google Keep, I mean, first on OneNote itself, it's it's a little heavy application. On the phone itself, it I mean, more time than Google Keep to open up, and then you to click on two three options to reach to a, a place where you could start recording your voice note. So it takes little effort. However, now let's look at Google Keep. So let's launch our browser, and on our browser, obviously. Google Chrome and you're logged in in your Google account. So how do you access Google Keep? So if you have got the extension for Google Keep installed, if you see my mouse 
on the top right hand corner you see a bulb kind of an icon grayed out right now uh, so that's an extension for Google Keep you could click on that and then say go to Keep it will take you to Google Keep right or else you could just go to app picker so next to your photo you have the app picker over here with nine dots click on that scroll down a bit and you would see Google Keep click on that and it takes you to Google Keep right now Google Keep taking notes is ultimately easy how you don't have to do anything just come in here tuck you can start typing I can add notes so easy boom and that's it note is added let's look at what are the options you have on the interface itself right and uh, basically Google keep or OneNote, as the name suggests they're note-taking apps and you could take your notes in way of drawings in way of photographs in way of voice notes or type it in as well now looking at this interface of Google keep it's pretty clean right and it's it looks easy your notes are arranged in this manner uh, it just blocks that you would see on this interface there is no sections as such like what we saw on one note where you would have a notebook and a section and a page nothing of that sort over here all you have is just blocks the more notes you start adding uh, it just keeps on adding different sections uh, different blocks right and in right now in your mind it will be going it doesn't look very arranged if I have four or five notes then it looks pretty cool but if I have hundreds of notes from last years uh, then it's gonna be crazy to find that out visually right but Google keep gives you options to arrange them and how you can arrange them is basically you could use labels or you could use color on Google keep the top bar is of categories these are all color codes and uh, you could like you see green so if I go to green I'll only see my green color uh, note if I go to red I don't have anything in red but orange yellow teal blue probably I have one so in blue you see the one that I color coded it as blue now I could search it with tags or labels that I assigned to each of my note while I was creating it so if I say KK work I would see both the notes that were KK work I could edit the labels as well I could come in here and add more labels or I could edit these labels the existing ones so if I want to create one label which says demo one so probably this is my demo one I have this label now let's see how it works right so come in here and uh, let's first add a note my demo one notes and this is for you to see now I have to add a tag to it right now it's picking KK work because I am in KK work but I don't want that I'll remove it and uh, let's see where it is right so you can add a reminder on it you could collaborate with anyone who is on Google you could color code it you could add an image on it uh, you can archive it for I mean you could save it for and it will not show up on this screen but it will still be able you will still be able to search it now let's click on this three dots when you click on those three dots you could delete it that's what we were looking for add a label you could add a drawing uh, make a copy of it and you could show checkboxes we'll look at that as well and you could copy it to Google Docs for more word processing right if you want to format and uh, get the rich text field you want to copy it to Google Docs and then use the word processing on it now as of now let's add a label 
so the moment you click on it it shows the labels so I'll just select demo one and close it all right now if I go to demo one label I see my demo one label over here or I go to all the notes and I am right over here right so that's about adding notes in a simple way which is text and you could add labels to it now let's look at some advanced features on it right and and on the view side you could change the view uh, over here right on the top corner you have the list view which is like this or you could have it in a grid view which is like this so I like the grid view I'll keep it that way in settings you could have let's go to settings and notes and list add new item to the bottom which means if you are adding more items it goes one after the other move checked items to bottom so if you have check boxes and you've selected it uh, if you've checked it it goes down enable dark theme so what is dark theme if I say boom well we'll enable dark theme it'll go all dark you all know already what it is a reminder defaults right so this is another handy thing uh, in the settings which is if you are adding uh, reminders very often you could actually have some default options set to it so let's say you want to say something goes in the morning slot so you select what is your morning something goes in afternoon slot so you select what is your afternoon you want to select evening slot you give a slot to it so we'll see when we add reminders how this becomes handy we'll see that and then enable sharing if you uncheck it you cannot share it but if you keep it sharing enable sharing then you have options to further share your notes with anyone on Google and then you click on save on it now that's about setting that's about your view uh, refresh is just like refresh it and probably it will start syncing with all your apps but with Google that's one of the fun feature right it just flick off a second it kind of syncs across devices that you have the application on so that's amazing okay so let's look at uh, taking notes in various other ways and what could be an advanced option right so let's we can come in here we can click on these options straight away to give us other options but let's just come in and by default click on take a note let's say shopping list and say let's buy some cooking oil some hair oil few eggs uh, what else I mean bread EDC right so you got the shopping list here now I have the list but it'll be fun if I could get the check boxes on it right so how do we do that now I've added already do I delete everything and add a checkbox to it or I just convert this into a checkbox so I would love to convert this to a checkbox so just come in here and click on the drop down and say show checkboxes click on that boom it's now checkboxes now what did what do we do with the shopping list we do shopping with it right we take it we go start checking it and start buying it and how fun it is if you can just collaborate with your spouse so collaborator and click on that add your I mean I will add my wife and say save boom she's added now she can validate the shopping list and then change or add more items obviously I've just added four it will be 20 in just few minutes though I will not show it to you now what else can you do with it you could add a reminder so we want to go for shopping let's add a reminder to it and this is where the fun of defaults is right so you want to go shopping in the evening or next week or tomorrow later today where you want to go so if you have the location set in your Google Maps right Google Maps if you add some locations so I have some locations added such as home work and that I use for my travel similarly you can add more 
locations for yourself so those locations will start showing up here and the defaults uh, for your reminder also there so you don't have to really type a lot of things but you can de de definitely choose a custom date and time over here and actually you can also select do not repeat but if you want you can repeat it and then pick a place if your places are not listed you can pick a place too so let's add it uh, later today at 8 p.m so today 8 p.m we're gonna go for shopping but thanks to covid we will not be able to go can we color code it yeah let's do it as pink all right so now let's look at some other ways so we saw how to add a checkbox and now let's look at how to uh, utilize image that we can put it on a note so again take a note click on image uh, you could go to photos and then look for an image that you would want to select I think I want the top yeah that one let's open that while it's doing its thing let's just give a title So there are some text on this image and uh, let's see if Google Keep can uh, read that. So image is uploaded and it's added here. Let's go there and say grab image text. So let's click on that. Boom. If you see it has got the text that's on the image right here. What great leaders. What great leaders so because the text is not arranged in the right manner uh, it just captures whatever it can and just puts it in the note so that's a great option inbuilt into Google keep you don't have a third don't need to get a third party application for it so Google keep can do this as well uh, along with that let me just color code this one as yellow and uh, any other options that we need to look at okay again you want to collaborate with someone you could as of now I don't want to so I'll just save it all right so now I've got some notes in my keep uh, let's look at if I am able to search them right so I've seen the labels I've seen reminders, we've seen the checkboxes, we've seen how to add an image and Google Keep can read the text on the image as well. Uh, the other thing would be to look at how to search from this list of uh, text and notes that we have. So let's click on search and we see three kind of options. One is type, one is labels and the other is things. So what interests me is things. I've never searched with things. I've, I know we have tagged them with the uh, labels. So we can definitely utilize the labels to search. And that is an efficient way to do it. So whenever you are adding a note, put, an, put one of your labels to it and start searching using that. And then you could also search it based on the type of note that you've added, right? If you added a note which, is, which has a reminder, you can select reminder. If you have a note that is a list, you could search within list if you have a type which has images you could search among those however uh, something really interesting that Google does is things so I want to search based on food so I, I could have 20,000 notes in it and then there it will filter the notes that has food in it or if I say groceries it will list for items that are with groceries so see what happens let's say I click on food there you go so anything that's so cooking oil or eggs or bread those are food so it kind of understands what you're typing it in uh, as a note Google keep understands what kind of thing it is that you're typing in so intelligently it kind of internally keeps an index of it and helps you search them easily so that's one of the interesting aspect of it now the other item is to add 
notes with drawing right some of the artists would like to have cursive writing or maybe just draw something into it so let's just see uh, coming to take a note click on the drawing icon you've got your drawing board uh, let's take a pen uh, choose a color maybe pick a black color and a uh, little thicker size you could select more colors from here okay and you could also uh, have this whole area your canvas uh, in different ways so you could have none rulers dots or you could choose rulers you could choose squares right however you want i prefer none uh, but let's let's see rulers as well just gives you a feel uh, you have a brush here you have a marker here this could be used as highlighter as well this could this is a marker this is a pen this is an eraser this is a select tool so i'm right now going to use a marker and uh, let's just draw something so maybe for illustration so i want to draw a maybe something of this sort drawing this using a mouse so excuse me uh, box that side up and then I draw a circle box to a circle to a triangle to infinity well whatever that means you could have it as a note so let's just make it smaller you could export as image or you could add new drawing uh, or you could just this would make it full size undo redo two buttons over here just go back that's your image you want to add a title just thinking right so that other thing that we wanted to look at is whether we are able to edit the categories right on the top uh, these categories that we have can we edit them yes of course we can edit them if you don't like the colors over here you can customize your categories so you can come in and start putting the names to it and uh, you can also go for reading a little bit over here and uh, if you don't like what you have set up as the category you could just reset it and it will come back to default so that's about category setup okay. now let's open google keep and the look and feel is exactly the same the blocks of notes that you have added you could make it a list like one after the other or you could have blocks and to add notes you have options at the bottom you can just click on a plus button and choose what you want to add more so again let's see what are the options over here right so you have exact same option that you had on the browser notes reminders demo these are the labels that we created archive then the recycle bin the setting again the settings that we saw it's the same settings that we have nothing different than the ui uh, so that's pretty nice uh, the f user experience is exactly the same in both the platforms now the only difference is how you add a note right over on a browser you have a add box where you can start typing in uh, let's see what happens if i click on this straight away brings a option to add check boxes and similarly the other options there is one thing new over here and that is voice memos so if you see a mic icon which was not there on the browser so this voice memo as if you remember when I, when I was talking about one note which gives me an option to record voice memo I would never use that on a desktop or a laptop I would 
idly use it while I'm traveling and when I don't have access to my microphone or my other stuff I I'm, I'm on the run and I don't want to type anything that's when I would use a voice memo uh, majority of the time and that's just me I'm not talking about anyone else that's how I would do it and I love it that this option is only available on the phone app and I couldn't find it on the uh, browser app so all I have to do is just tap icon and it starts speaking on the voice memo and what it does is it at the same time it r records your voice as well as it kind of adds it as a text as well though it's not very uh, accurate for an Indian accent but uh, I've seen it work uh, probably I'll have to train it a little bit so that it can grab my words properly and that's it I mean that's all you have to do uh, the other thing that I didn't show you was pinning and uh, note. So if you just say pin on the top, if you hit that pin icon, it gets pinned and it shows up as the top item on your list. So if you see, you don't have anything next to the pinned item. So the moment you start pinning your notes, you get a pin section on the top and that's where all your pinned notes will be and below that you have the other notes uh, but then again you can continue to search everything that you have so that's how you would add a voice memo and pin your uh, notes this is on the phone it is again super handy if I want to take a photo right so let's say I want to take a photo so I'll, op I'll click on the ta take a photo app and uh, take a photo and use this photo then there we go added another stuff on it I want to choose an image I can select and start looking at the images that I have in my gallery check boxes you already seen it recording you've seen it already drawing I can also draw it on my phone and that's super cool so again it's not pinned so it is showing below the pinned notes that I have so that's how you would use your uh, Google keep on your mobile phone so my friends so my friends that's a great tool to keep Google keep it is powerful and user friendly I am recommending Google keep to you guys I'm going to use it for myself as well. I would say you can also share your experiences by commenting on this video and sharing how it's making it easy for you and probably if this video helps you to achieve little more productivity by using Google Keep, let me know. So for now, I would say thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.